There are two new castles, Prince Eric's Castle and Beast Castle, and both contain outstanding family experiences. Prince Eric's Castle crowns under the sea the voyage of the Little Mermaid. And inside Beast Castle, you can dine in his enchanted ballroom in Be Our Guest restaurant. And I'm pleased to announce today two new dates for Fantasyland. The Dumbo pre-ride experience and Casey Jr. Splash and Soak Station will open in July. And Be Our Guest restaurant and Little Mermaid, along with Bonjour Village Gifts and Bell's Cottage, will open in time for the holidays later this year. But there will still be more to come. The Seven Dwarfs Mine Train is scheduled to open in 2014. I'd like you to see the new and expanded fantasy land through the eyes of one of our visionaries who created it. Please welcome Walt Disney Imagineering Senior Creative Director, Chris Beatty. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Uh, so I'm really excited to be here to take you through the Fantasyland expansion. A uh, couple of things I want to really focus on in this presentation. One is just the scale of this project. Um, some of you got the peek and go through the wall yet, or through the uh, construction fence yesterday, and, and uh, got to kind of see it, and you know, without the wall kind of breaking your, your vision. And the scale is just enormous. We are literally doubling the size of. Fantasy land, and you can see here by this illustrator or by the aerial photo, um, you know you have the uh, carousel that's right, sort of in the upper left middle there by the blue wall. Look at the size of, of, of this project; it is enormous. It runs all the way down to the Walt Disney World Railroad line, um, clear down here in the bottom right corner. It is huge, um, and it's very very exciting. Um, the other thing I really want to talk about is just immersive storytelling. How, like you can see the uh, conceptual rendering here of Belle's Cottage, that journey that our guests will get to take through the woods as they make their approach to this charming little cottage nestled in the woods. And, well, you can see in the photo down here to the right how we're bringing that to life. And it always amazes me to see the concept rendering we did two years ago, and then when you get in the field, how close we really come to, to visioning that. Um, so there's some fantastic details outside and inside this, um, this attraction. Well, of course, um, you know, how do we make a giant beast castle look like it's a mile away, you know, up into the mountains with the snow? Well, we do that with a lot of forced perspective. It's one of the great illusions that Imagineers use uh, to uh, bring our attractions to life. And, of course, you can see here, this study is the beast castle nestled up into the rock work. Uh, the rock work is very sharp and angular. It has the, you know, takes on the presence of the beast or the personality of the beast. And then you can see here the construction photos of the castle actually up with the rock work in front of it. And the more and more we layer, we put the trees in and more rock work, um, that forced perspective will come to life. And you'll really get a sense of traveling up into those cold mountains um, to go into the Be Our Guest restaurant. Of course, we have the little village from uh, Beauty and the Beast. This is where you'll find Gaston's Tavern. You'll find uh, the little bookshop or the merchandise shop from the film. And, but the centerpiece or the heart of this space really is uh, the a statue of Gaston in LeFou. Uh, this is a statue that Gaston has made. Uh, he has given it to the village in honor of himself. So it's in, uh, in very uh, uh, in fact, you know, Gaston fashion, uh, very conceited. And it's really funny, you know, he's using LeFou as sort of his footstool as his kegs of ale are, are spraying water everywhere because they've, uh, they've been shot holes in. Uh, it should be really, really charming and fun. Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid. If you watch that film, there's very, that castle is in that film just for a brief moment. So when we sat down, we started looking at, well, what's the front door of this attraction? Where do we want to take our guests? Where do they want to journey to? Well, we actually went back and met with some of the animators from the film. And we talked about the detail and the storytelling, what that castle would look like. And then slowly from those meetings, we started concept renders, as you can see up here in the left-hand corner. And then after that, of course, we started construction. This is spectacular. The scale of it, the presence of it as the front door uh, to Under the Sea Journey of the Little Mermaid is just going to be, um, it's going to be a, just a, a very magical moment as our guests pass through. Uh, one of my favorite attractions within the park, within the Magic Kingdom, of course, is Dumbo. I, I love Dumbo. Um, we, of course, as Meg mentioned, we are doubling Dumbo. Um, it will be a beautiful circus setting that, uh, that will be the backdrop for Dumbo. But I think uh, if you really go out and you look at this attraction, and the, the one on the left is open, uh, you'll see some amazing detail in the elephants and in just the, the centerpiece that the elephants fly around. We hit all kinds of little magical moments uh, uh, within the spinner, and it's just going to be a great, great attraction for years to come up. 
Of course, what circus would be complete without Casey Jr.? Uh, Casey has brought the circus to town. He's come in on the rail line. He's unloaded all these wagons full of monkeys and elephants and giraffes and camels. And, and uh, this is going to be an incredible water play area um, for families. Uh, kids are going to love it because the monkeys are spraying water hoses and elephants are squirting you. And Casey himself has some great water features. Um, it's really going to be a lot of fun. You can see the photo down here. Uh, this was just from two days, three days ago um, during installation. So we're getting very close, very close. Uh, barnstormer. Well, uh, every circus has a stuntman, uh, and of course, Goofy is our star stuntman for this circus. Um, he will take our guests on this aerial acrobatic ride through the clouds. Um, of course, in classic Goofy fashion, he is not a great pilot, so he has run through the tower. He has run through the billboard, um, um, and of course, we get to uh, join him in this fun adventure. Uh, when we are done with the expansion, uh, our princesses will have a permanent home in the castle, uh, in the courtyard area. And I think this is going to be just an incredible space for our guests to enter into. Um, it will be carved in, you know, in its, in, with all the beauty of a castle setting, beautiful portraits up on the wall, a very regal, very royal, uh, very fitting for, um, for, their, uh, for their presence here. So this will be a permanent home for our princesses. And then the Seven Horse Mine Train. Um, this amazes me. I talked about the scale of this project. This is a great example. The concept rendering up to the left is coming through the castle wall. And you can see the mermaid castle just barely peeking over the, uh, the, the trees behind. Well, the foreground is the cottage. And that mountain where the train is coming out, believe it or not, if you look at the photo, that's what the steel is representing. The brown steel is the rhyme steel, and the gray steel is our structural steel. So you're seeing exactly taken from the same angle, the photo, and how the, we're bringing that illustration to life. But it is a huge, huge sight. Uh, the coaster has a great presence. It really will be the centerpiece of the expansion when we're finished. And next, um, so... We've shared, a lot of times we share with you the outsides of the building and what the facades might look like and the storytelling of entering into these attractions. Uh, we really haven't shared a whole lot of what's inside. Um, I have a little treat for you. We haven't shown anyone this yet. Um, we're going to show you a little video of um, the chandelier that's being placed inside Be Our Guest. There are three chandeliers. Um, the main chandelier in the middle is 11 feet wide, 12 feet tall. Um, and then the other two are um, designed a little bit smaller. These were ex almost exact replicas of what was in the film that Belle and Beast dance under. And this space is so immersive. Every time I walk in there, I, you are transported to that moment in the film where Beast and Belle dance around that ballroom. It is going to be exquisite and spectacular. Um, I can't wait for everyone to come in and enjoy it. Um, it's just going to be a, a, a very magical, magical moment when we open the restaurant.